Well, happening this Friday, a very fun chance for you to help raise money and awareness for Special Olympics here in New Mexico while you get to go on a 16-story repelling adventure. Here with more on how you can get involved in all of this fun is Kareem. Kareem. Kareem, Corinne, I'm sorry. Matt. I'm sorry, Corinne. We go way back. I'm sorry. I don't know. I botched everybody else's name. I don't know. I botched yours. Randy Mescarella, the executive director for Special Olympics, and Martine Wiggins, who is an athlete with Special Olympics. Good morning to all of you. Thank you so Good much morning. for coming in. Thanks for having us. It is my pleasure, Corinne. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, let's okay, be serious for a second here. The event going on this Friday, a chance to challenge your fear of heights, yes. have a lot of fun, and help out Special Olympics. Yeah, too. definitely. Um, over the edge, it's a 16-story rappel down the New Mexico Bank and Trust building right here in downtown. And um, people have been fundraising all summer to try to get ready to do their rappel. And then the day of, we're going to have a big street party. So there's um, the gyro, which is that big spinning machine where you hold on and oh, kind of go yeah. crazy. Yeah, oh, the one that gets you really sick to your stomach. <laughs> that one, the one that you don't want to eat lunch on. If, if you're you okay go. after the rappel. Yeah. And there's gonna be live music and giveaways, and so yeah, it's really an adventure, and then it's a celebration at the end. Okay, Martine, you're a special uh, Olympian. You do these events. So, so the money that we raise with this is going to help out athletes like yourself. What events do you do? I buy horses and do bocce. Wow, how long have you been riding horses? For a long time. Yeah. <laughs> what do you like about it? Um, just riding horses. Yeah, it's and fun. This isn't is actually it? Martine's third time going over the edge. So this you're going to go over the edge? Are you yes. scared? No. No? Is it? What do you? Is it scary when you're up there? You look down? No. No? Okay. No well, good fear. for you. You're brave. No I mean, John Smith wet his pants when he went last year, <laughs> and Chad is uh, scared about it this year. So, so, Randy, wouldn't you do this? You help out um, athletes like Martine. What do you do for them? Well, a couple things. First of all, all the dollars generated from this event goes directly to helping us keep sport happening in their lives all year long. So it pays for program. Mm -hmm. But it also uh, gives people an opportunity to face a fear and then choose to have the courage enough to meet the task at hand. Sure. And Special Olympic athletes every day face fears and we take ours for granted and mm -hmm. this one just uh, puts it to the test and it's a, a unique way of uh, helping us better understand what their lives are like. Yeah. Sometimes it's easier said than done. It's always easier said than done. It's always easier said than done. But you went. I did. I did. I loved it. Well, I loved it. I went, what, two, two, three years ago now? Oscar Solis over there set it all up. It really is yeah. fun. I'll tell you what, the, the scariest part for me is you're up on top of the building. You look down, and there's like that quarter or half of a second at the time you lean back before the rope catches you, and you're like, oh, my goodness, what's going to happen? I know. So it really, really is yeah. a good time. And um, you, you talk about what you do with the athletes. You all took a group from here. New Mexico out to what was it Washington DC New or Jersey the East Coast New Jersey for a big national event and it, again it's programs like this that help pay to do all that and give these athletes a chance of a lifetime absolutely we take sport for granted as non-disabled people we we feel we're entitled to it and Special Olympic athletes see it as um, a rare and unique opportunity they don't take it for granted and they're grateful for it so we create those yeah. opportunities. We give them those opportunities. And that's why we need a lot of people to face their fear and slide down the rope. Exactly, exactly. You know, you, you've been the director here for 21 years. You can see how excited you get talking about it and how much it means to you to be able to help these athletes out. Uh, Corinne, if people still want to get involved, what do they need to do? Yeah, they can go to the website, overtheedgenm.com, and sign up. Um, and or they can just show up day of um, with a with a check for the fundraising, and they okay. also do have three months after. Okay. So you do have time after if you don't reach your fundraising goal now. If you want to do it still, you totally can. Gotcha. Um, we'll help you through that. So it's it's not something that like you just have to go donate all of a sudden uh, out of your check. You go get your friends, go get your coworkers, exactly. be like, hey, I'm gonna get, who? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure who's gonna would, support? Yeah, yeah. People would pay a lot of money for me to jump off a building that tall. <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> go out, go to KRQE links, everything you need is there. We'll see y'all later this week. All right, Great. thanks, man. Okay, 731 right now. Stick around. we got much more coming up on KRQE this morning.